What's up, everybody? Jesse Burdick here, supertraining.tv and powerwad.com for The Power Project. Got a question from Sinis regarding an anterior pelvic tilt when he's deadlifting. Wants to know if it's okay that he deadlifts that way, how to figure out if there is one and what to do about it. Um, can you deadlift that way? Yes. Um, can you deadlift heavy that way? Can you deadlift that way for very long? No, you can't. Anterior pelvic tilt, a rounded lower back is going to be the worst thing for you. It's going to ruin your life. Um, so we got to fix it. So let's find out what the problem is. What is the issue? You got some, um, more likely than not, you have some immobile hips, really, really tight hamstrings, and probably a statically weak lower back. So we've got to go about fixing all of those in order to kind of take care of that tilt that we're looking at here that kind of gives you that, you know, like a dog taking a shit in the park type of look. It's not a good one. So we need to lo loosen up everything down here, which would be my thumb. That would be kind of your hamstrings. We let those loosen up, get your hips back that way, and then we start strengthening your lower back out of there. All of a sudden, you're in a good position to deadlift. That's what your hips should kind of look like. And then you're going to be able to kind of get out there and go ahead and pull. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Again, we always um, send everyone over to our good buddy, Kelly Strett, MobilityWad.com. Give you a couple of um, exercises, a couple of solutions in order to kind of get those hips and those hamstrings opened up. Static lower back, be kind of, you know, statically holding a really flat back, not an overarch position off of a GHR, off of a 45 degree back extension, and kind of move from there. But my guess is it's probably a big mobility issue. Um, really got to take that seriously. You know, make sure you videotape it. Your, your, your training partners are saying you're doing it, but you're not believing them for, for some reasons. So maybe you need to videotape it and get some, um, some training partners that aren't liars, if that's what you think about them for real. But videotape it, find out. If it's there, go ahead, start work on that mobility and that static lower back issue, and then start pulling the correct way. Lower those weights, get it right. All right, thanks a lot.